And we are back for another series. We're gonna build a burnout car. I didn't remember the moon being that far away. In this first episode, it's not gonna be too much. We're just gonna talk about what this car is, what this car has been, and what were the plans for it. But now we have a whole new set of plans for it. So let's start off by what I have done to this car. So this is a 2005 Hyundai Accent base model, obviously, nothing fancy. And this was a project when I started. My neighbor approached me and he was like, I want to see a turbo four banger. And I was like, well, I want to build a turbo four banger. So we set off on this adventure and built this neat little rig. Worked pretty good. We had some good fun out of it. I'll try to find some old footage and slip it in there. Um, but yeah, basically this is a 1.6 liter engine, came NA from factory, but I added on this, this turbo was off of a PT Cruiser 2.4 liter, so you can see what I did here, I built an adapter plate, made some studs to the factory studs, and you know, just adapted all that, and... I mean, it worked all right. We pushed five PSI of boost, blew some big fireballs out of the exhaust, and uh, yeah. After doing that turbo add-on thing, we, uh, we ran into some fueling issues. So then I hopped onto the Googles and did some researches and figured that uh, Tiburon V6 injectors were bigger flows and uh, they would fit in the, exact, in the exact same place as the factory ones without any modifications. So I upsized the uh, injectors and then we were able to push it to around 7 PSI without it cutting out. Too bad. And uh, yeah, basically everything here costed us like $850 including the car. All the intercooler piping is like recycled pipe from the PT Cruiser or exhaust piping and then we have the intercooler that was also from the PT Cruiser it's all banged up because it was in a bad spot um, we're missing a rad because I blew it out a couple times rallying around the yard and that's basically what the build was pretty simple honestly So this was supposed to be a drag car, didn't turn out so good for it. So it just basically turned into a rally car for around my yard and a machine to blow off tires. So as you can see it's already been like started to be stripped down and because I'm stealing parts off of it. So as you guys can probably see here. We had some good fun with this car. These were up front, obviously this is a front wheel drive for now. It was just doing burnouts anyways, but now what I want to do is stop it from spinning up front there and make these wheels go round and round. It's gonna start by just unmounting a whole bunch of stuff up front here because we have to tow this bad boy out and uh, get it to somewhere that it hopefully will be easier to work on. But making a rear wheel drive version of a front wheel drive burnout car isn't complicated enough for me. So in this small engine bay, we're gonna try to fit 
a 350 from a van or another V8. I have a 305 also and the neighbor has a couple more V8s. So basically we're going to try to stuff this big bitch in there and then we're going to have to cut all our floor out, make the transmission fit, make a shaft and then we're going to have to put a rear end in back there. So yeah, I guess for now we'll get stripping the front to get a good mounting point to tow this bitch out. So basically we have to strip the front end down because right now the intercooler is mounted right in front of the frame which is where we're gonna have to hook it up to pull it out. This has not moved in a long time. Oh, there she goes. Now we're gonna make a pile of all our parts here once we take them off from here because we're most likely gonna have to recycle some of them. I think we might need a flat screwdriver for that one. Where's my lucky screwdriver? There it is. See if this sucker will come off. Oh yeah. She just needed some love and affection. There we go. In the pile. So I guess when I first built this, I had a pretty good stock of wing nuts. Just everything I find is attached with at least one wing nut. So there's two more corner bolts here, but um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging because you guys can't imagine how much rubber is laid under there. Oh look a slug. I do. Alright, I'm going to do that. You're not going to see that because I'm probably going to be struggling. And uh, yeah, we'll rip the bumper off. I think I found a better way. <laughs> so 
of that work good. This one's a little tougher. Give it that. Oh yeah, we had those uh, racing rods holding the bump, bottom of the bumper also. It was a good build. Oh, the one last zip tie. Is the bumper stronger or is the zip tie stronger? Leave it in the comments. I guess the bumper was stronger. Yeet. Oh, look at that. Balance. Oh, don't she look pretty like that? Now we just need to take off the intercooler. Right, now to take the intercooler off. I bet you can't guess what hardware I used. Wing nuts. Woo! Too bad. I seize pretty good. Nothing vice grips can't fix. Oh yeah. Everything's vice grip size. So that's basically the whole front end stripped down. And I think that's gonna do it for this video. Leave a comment if you have any names for the car. If you think this project's gonna be rad, leave a like, subscribe to follow it, and share it with your friends. Let's build a burnout car together.